As a designer, what can you do about social fairness when pursuing cradle-to-cradle -cradle ideals and certification? These are more management and manufacturing issues than design, but you can still have a big influence. One thing you can do directly is source materials or products that are certified as socially responsible by credible third-party standards, like Forest Stewardship Council, Fair Trade, or SA8000. If you're helping choose where a new factory will be, or where to ramp up more production, use tools like the Social Hotspots database to choose places with better standards for workers and communities. Read up on the ways to measure social fairness, and work with your manufacturing team and management to assess your operations according to one of these standards. Once you've measured your current social impact, you can work with management and manufacturing to improve the things most important for your company. Once you've built up some successes, you can become more sophisticated and seek higher levels, working with management to get a third-party evaluation and certification. These steps all help you reduce negative social impacts. To attain the highest aspiration of cradle-to-cradle -cradle design, think about how your company could have positive social impacts on your workers, suppliers, customers, and local communities. Maybe your factories could help get people out of poverty in developing countries. Maybe they could provide valuable job-related education to workers and local communities. Innovative social projects can take many forms. There are a ton of things you can do to influence your management and operations people that can improve people's lives. And there are many benefits to the company from this in productivity, retention, public relations, and happier people.